A was a lioness, created something that no one had created before, high priestess of the goddess of conquest, milk of death in her mouth, oh impetuous wild cow. The significance of A was not recognised until Adam Falkenstein published an article in 1958. B wrote epitaphs for those who cross the pale stream, dear short-lived babes, a pet cicada in his tiny tomb. It is said she cured a blind man and was called the female Homer for a while. C was well thought of into the fifth century, mentioned alongside Plato, Cicero, Marshall and Juvenal. Now she is naked under linen with Calanus Insider in the two surviving lines of iambic trimeter. D rose up to rank two or favorite beauty, was accused of witchcraft, like a moon-shaped fan that when autumn comes is put into a box. D is remembered for her song of resentment, though there is a certain historical doubt about the attribution of this song. E was a concubine who fled court. E founded the monastery of Song Kwa. E ate only legumes or pale greens. Legend has it that E's fingers healed, eked tenderness from wolves, wrote poems non-extant. F was noted for writing in the genre of incitement to vengeance or to read. Scholars debate whether F's work was fabricated in the medieval period. O supported her family by writing for Dauphines, Queens for Burgundy or Orleans, soul incarcerated in body, petals caving by abbey walls, the goldfish sang tell it, tell it, tell it. In Querelle de Roman de la Rose, G attacked the misogyny of Jean de Man's romance of the Rose by belittling her own writing style in a rhetorical strategy known as antiphrasis. H was an Andalusian princess, walked without hijab in translucence, instructed women of all classes in poetry, fell in love with Ibn Zadun, who betrayed H, who wrote numerous verses on the subject, for me you are nothing but a sweetmeat I bit, tossing away the crust to be gnawed on by a rat. It is thanks to her role as Ibn Zadun's muse that any of H's work survives. I married an official and had a bad marriage. I either had an affair or committed suicide, and after I died, all the poetry I had written was burned. J, as in Jasmine, refused dress, was meat, hair, scent, was subject to hagiographic mythological claims. This world is Shiva's eye. What can you cover and conceal. Kay loved her slave. One official reported that his servant had observed the slave sleeping and eating in the room next to his mistress's bedchamber. It was rumoured that Kay had mothered a daughter by her slave. The officials now argued this was a case of public morality. Servants were tortured to investigate the claim. Kay's slave died during interrogation and more than 40 people were arrested. Some members of the government argued death was too strong a punishment for a royal woman, but it was agreed to be more respectful than torture, so Kay was forced to kill herself. Elle was born into a family of rope makers, surgeons and butchers, was a knight on horseback in male dress, la belle Amazon, angel face, sonneteer. Think of the word ravish. In 1560, Calvin referred to L cross-dressing, calling her a plebeia meritrix, or common whore. M lulled her baby, wretched with snot, retching up milk, nightmare hot, rock, 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 rock. The child who doesn't cry will be spared by the hyena. N was put on the rack. The wine was just wine, the bread just bread, and negation in N's throat. 
N burnt slowly. O was the first Englishwoman to assert herself as a professional poet. O spoke to the astrologer about her miscarriages, felt Will Shakespeare's tongue on her mouth's tender ceiling, fingers scrawling in that ink, her hair, O, O, O. P had nine children and wrote poems about her gout. Jonathan Swift called her one of her, his triumphant, a city shower, wigs, decanted wine, how P laughed at him, bon mot. Mm. Q was her father's favourite daughter, slender, two moles, pearls at the throat. Q wrote under the pseudonym Hidden One, was imprisoned by her father for 20 years in a fort. It has been theorised the crime was being a poetess, anathema to her father's orthodox thought. R was stolen, shipped, sold, taught to read classics by 12, write poems by 14 that promise those black as Cain may be refined. R, by 31, had refined herself to free, to scullery maid, angel. S was nicknamed Muffy or Pet, delicious tainted butter, wolfed down by Scott Stevenson and Twain. Her secret dying a month short of her ninth birthday. T was born outside the pale, parting grass, a taste of pear, fucked her girlfriend, smelted beneath her velvet throw. Stalin's government considered homosexuality a disease, so her poems were declared unlawful. U was from Uruguay. Married Enrique Job Rios in August 1913 and left him a month later. For one blue minute, colts smoked through the fields. After their divorce was finalised, he shot her twice in the head. These, the ghetto and other poems, was a popular success until she fell out of critical favour due to her impassioned realistic verse. W won the Bardic crown twice. How did she fail to win it? She was accused of cheating twice. X lacked a rib, so after the divorce was given few visiting rights, her son was brought up to believe his mother had abandoned him for poetry and sex to sin the sin of pleasure. X was ablaze, attacked. Were they howling like that? just to earn a day's plate of basmati rice. The official story is that X swerved her car to avoid an oncoming school bus. Why banished? Z reads that historically there are few women poets and they do not stand comparison with the best men. Their absence from the canon is due to illiteracy or domesticity, a lack of opportunity. The editors of the anthology point out that had they not excluded poets under 60, they might have found more women amongst their contemporaries, although only time will tell if any endure beyond the momentary. Z dreams that she is A, dreams deathless milk. Thank <laughs> you.